lifting operation. We perform many activities in a day and lifting operation is one of the critical operations that we can observe at any work site. Due to the critical operation and lack of awareness, there have been reports of many incidents that occurred while handling material. Let us have a look at the hazards related to material handling. Main causes for the incidents are Defective wire rope sling Violation of the set procedures such as not using the lifting plan, poor risk assessment, incompetent crew, using MEWP as a lifting equipment. Overriding the safety controls on the lifting equipment. People being in the line of fire Person getting struck by and caught between dead weight and outrigger. <laughs> Using defective tools and tackles. Person getting struck by and caught between load and stationary object. Wrong selection of the lifting equipment. Using equipment for lifting load beyond its load capacity. Ignoring the safety instruction provided by the manufacturer for using a machine. For example, not using the load chart ignoring the alarms, etc. Using equipment without checking it and its safety. Not following the guidelines of maintaining the equipment according to the manufacturer's instructions. For example, not checking load indicator, boom angle indicator, swinging alarm, reverse alarm, upper limit switch, etc. Allowing incompetent or unauthorized staff to use the equipment. Any part of the crane touching the overhead electrical wires, which can result in electrocution. Grounds not being firm and outrigger not fully extended, which may result in tripping, imbalance or trapping of the crane presence of workers in the line of fire. Poor communication between banksman and lifting equipment operator. Using equipment in extraordinary and adverse weather conditions. Equipment used for material handling. Now we will learn about equipment used in handling of heavy objects the associated dangers and the safety techniques required while using the equipment so as to avoid incidents. The equipment used in material handling are categorized into two parts lifting tools and tackles. Lifting tools and tackles are used to attach load or material to the lifting machines. For example, web sling, wire rope, chains, D-shackle, hooks, chains and spreader bar etc. Lifting equipment. Lifting equipment are used for lifting load or material and moving it from one place to another with the help of lifting tools and tackles. For example, tower crane, telescopic crane, side boom, crawler crane, tool carrier, EOT crane and forklift. Safety during lifting. Now, let us understand the safety rules to be followed while performing a lifting operation. During loading and unloading, 
please follow a 10-point checklist. All equipment should have an inspection tag and specify their capacity to lift weights. Only those hooks and shackles must be used, which indicate safe working load on them. The equipment should be inspected from a competent person and the certificate must be kept safely. All the lifting equipment should be checked by a lifting equipment controller every month and it shall be inspected and color-coded as per the current month's color-coding practice. Every lifting work to be carried out should be pre-planned and shall be conducted under the careful supervision by a competent person. The personnel responsible for giving signals, banksmen, should wear reflective vest for allowing their identification. Before starting the work, a permit has to be issued in accordance with the safety norms of the company. Also, ensure that safe working procedure contains the 10-point checklist, lifting plan, job safety analysis, risk assessment, and personal protective equipment. Supervisor should ensure that crane operator or rigger or helper and any other workers are familiar with the safe working procedures as well as other rules. It should be ensured that competent, experienced and certified crane operator, banksman and rigging crew are available. Operators should have a valid driving license. The operator or rigger or helper should always have their safety card and competency card with them. As we know, toolbox talk is an essential part of work before commencing the task. It shall at least contain at least the below brief discussion. Task assignment. Discussing the task in details with the associated related hazards may help the workers to understand the associated risks. Roles and responsibility. In order to facilitate an effective safety management system, the roles and responsibilities of the concerned personnel shall be defined and communicated irrespective of other responsibilities. Method Statement Method Statement is a detailed statement of work, which includes scope of the task or activities, hazards involved in that task, and the safe work methodology of the task. Task Risk Assessment Discussion on the site-specific or lift-specific risk assessment and control measures and, if there are any change in plan or process, dynamic risk assessment to be carried out before starting the job. Lifting Plan Lifting Plan contains the essential information for the particular lifting operation, such as Type of Lift Selection of Lifting Equipment Tools and Tackles safe working load and right method to use them, slinging and rigging method, safety precaution during the lift. Now let us understand the safety rules to be followed while lifting operation. No person shall be allowed in the cordoned area other than the banksmen and helpers. No person shall be allowed on the trailer and on the crane while loading and offloading. Safety barrication should be secured in the working area around the crane. Land should be even and hard. Outrigger should be fully extended. Lights and sounds of reverse brakes should be in proper working condition. Rear view mirror should be clean and should be in a proper position. If the crane has to be placed near the excavation, then make sure that jack plate is at a safe distance from the edge, that is, three times away from the excavation depth. While lifting the weight, the hook should be right over the center of gravity. If this rule is not applied, then the weight will get lifted in a tilted position instead of a straight position. In such cases, the sling will have unnecessary weight and the load may become imbalanced, which is dangerous. This kind of problem must be rectified immediately. If the angle of sling triangle is bigger, it will create more pressure on the sling. 
This will reduce the capacity of the lifting weight. Make sure that the angle of the sling triangle is smaller, which will increase the capacity of lifting weight and is a safe condition. Lifted weight should be properly tied up by the guide rope so that it does not hit any person or object. Do not use equipment in any extraordinary and adverse conditions such as strong wind, heavy rain, heavy dust, thick fog, etc. Don't use cell phones or other electronic devices like music player, headphones, etc. while operating the cranes. If you consume alcohol or drugs, then do not conduct any lifting operation. While maintaining the equipment, make sure to turn the engine off. Take the keys out. Use wheel chokes and support the hydrolocks with a hard object. When the crane is not operating, then the operator should lock the cabin and place the key in a safe, authorized place. Remember, you are empowered and obligated to stop if any unsafe action or condition is observed. Report unsafe actions and unsafe conditions to your supervisor or safety advisor. Friends, now you have gained knowledge about lifting operation, if you have any questions, please contact your supervisor or safety advisor.